Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to code on small, basic and not thunkable or code studio. So the full form of basic is beginners all purpose symbolic instruction code. Small basic is a programming language. Now what's a program? A program is a set of instructions written for the computer to perform a particular task. Now I'll share my screen and show you my small basic that I have accessed from my web browser. So guys, as you can see that this is my small basic. So the any file you save from small basic is saved as the ex extension sb now guys let me first introduce this small basic to you here let me start from here this is a new this is written new new means all the code will be deleted and a new tab will be opened of small basic save means i told you it will be saved with an extension dot sb open you can open any small basic file you can import publish but they are not available currently they are coming soon you can cut a code you can copy a code you can paste a code you can undo code you can redo code you can debug the code and you can run if you are a coder if you're a good code if you watch all the videos of coding session then i should say that you already know about all these things and guys another thing subscribe to coding station to get updates on each and every videos we post so guys we're posting this video after a very 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 long time but that doesn't mean we have stopped posting we are posting it now guys what's the syntax a syntax is text window dot write line okay guys so i'm just writing it in front of you if you are watching this from mobile please go to the full screen mode and a bracket in bracket i put the double quotes so inside this double quote, if I write that coding station, and I run this, it will show coding station. All right, guys. This part, I'll come to this part later in any later video because we're gonna continue, continue with small basic now for a few days and then we'll again shift to Thunkable or Code Studio like that. Okay, now, the i'll introduce the right method to you so guys uh, i'm just going to introduce the right method to you okay that was right line what i just showed you and this is the right method that i'm going to introduce okay guys these two methods are different we'll come to the differentiating part later on Okay. okay, guys. Now, if I check it now, it will show that coding is essential. Program has ended. It comes to one line and not two lines. Okay. Now, let's come to the most interesting part of basics of small basics. So, today our topic was basics of small basic. Okay, guys. Now, I'll show you how to introduce variables in small basic. Guys, this, we are just starting with the small basics. I'm not coding the any app or game i'm just introducing small basic to you you can call it introduction to small basic and it's better if you call it basics of small basic okay now variable you already know what's a variable how we call it but uh, we use block based coding earlier now we'll write uh, later best coding that we're going to type now okay guys so if i say n equal to oh okay n equal to 20 and then I have to go to a new line and I have to write. Okay, guys, give me a moment. There shouldn't be any space. <laughs> text window. Now, don't put any double quotes in while detailing the variable. Okay. Text window dot write in brackets and not in double quotes when you are talking about variable. And the thing i'll do that's then uh, I'll, i should have to copy this code i'll do this i can do control plus c but uh, i better use the small basic components i'll tell you some rules of declaring small basic things okay let's paste it now the output should be 2020 if you check see 2020 
this program and ended won't be there if you download the small basic application in your desktop i'm not doing like that i'm just browsing through my browser and getting the small basic the link of the small basic is available in the description box below you can go through it once if you want to re if you really want to code now let's perform a mathematical calculation here by, by declaring variable certainly a equal to 23 okay um, b equal to 56 and s equal to a plus b all right so if i write text window dot right line in brackets s Here I'm using the brackets. You will, when you you will understand when to use brackets and when not um, while you code and you become a coder. Now I'll write s. A is equal to a plus b. Twenty three plus fifty six is seventy nine. Now the output should be seventy nine. So if I check once, okay, guys, it will show s. But why is it showing s instead of seventy nine? Why, guys? Can you tell me once? That's because I put double quotes while declaring a variable. This was, I'm just trying to test you. And uh, now if I run, it will show 79. Notice one thing carefully. If I'm using the right line method, the program has ended is going to a new line. And if you are, if I'm writing in the right method, the program is I'm in the same line. Right line means going to a new line. And this text window is a special component of small basic. Now let's perform a type of, type of um, what? Subtraction. Okay. So if I write A equal to 47. A equal to 47. B equal to 13. S equal to 13. A minus B. Guys, I should have written A, B, and D. Uh, guys, hope you know why I should have written. And here, instead of this S, I should make it. No, it's S only. No issues. Now, if I check. The desired result should be 34. 34 program has ended. Now, oh, guys, let's come to the assignment statement. What is an assignment statement, guys? Can anybody tell me in the comment section what is an assignment statement? So, this is what we're going to discuss on now. Okay, guys, no, don't mind uh, because it just shifted. That, that's it. Okay, so what's an assignment statement? Assignment statement uses operator equal to sign to store a value in a variable. So the sign is equal to, I'm not writing the whole of it. Okay, guys. Oh, I have to increase its text size, I think. Yes, equal to sign. The assignment the statement uses the operator equal to to store a value in a variable. Like I'm writing, a equal to, for example, one. So here I'm using this equal to operator, which is the most important thing over there. Now, what is a variable? So guys, our next topic is variable. All right, guys. What is a variable? Now, Variable is an area in the computer's memory that has a name and stores data temporarily, not permanently, temporarily. Now there are some rules for naming a variable. Okay, guys, the rules are really very important. You can jot it down in a copy. If you want to be a good coder, then you have to listen to what I'm saying. Okay, a variable can only include letters, numbers, and underscore characters. Example, I'm just writing the examples A, N1, Number one, etc. All right. Now, uh, remember one thing that a variable name cannot be a reserved word of small basic. That is, read, read number, etc. If you write a variable name like uh, right line, 
Okay, guys, if you write a variable, not write line, do, do write like write. This is what you write as the variable name. If you do this, then guys, it would not perform the task which it should have performed when the variable name is not a reserved word of small basic. This write is a calculation performing thing of small basic small basics calculation i'm not talking about plus minus division multiplication so guys this right you should not do this and this is totally wrong guys remember this is totally wrong never ever write any variable which is a reserved word of small basic the first character of variable must be a letter not a number you can't write a variable like 22 221 you can't write it's wrong if it is a221, it would be correct. Guys, I think this much is clear. This is wrong. But this is absolutely correct. Hmm. Now, if a variable consists of more than one, one word or words, words should be joined together using a capital letter or an underscore character. No space should be there. Like I show, uh, just showed you that number one. You could write as if it is like number x y z x y z is a two word number x y z. You could either write write like this, or you could even write like number x y and z. Okay. The variable names should be meaningful. That is, it should indicate the data stored in the variable. If you write like a equal to one, does it make any sense? No, right? If you wrote like a n equal to one, it makes a sense like number equal to one. So it should make some, at least some sense. Like if you write student name, student name, don't be bored. This is really interesting. You could either join these two like this, or you could even write like two name huh. okay all right now i can give you a few examples like uh, please don't mind as i'm having some technical glitches like a equal to aparna a equal to aparna like if name equal to Shumana, even you could write like stu name means which is a student name which indicates the word student name Nihari Ka. Don't put double quotes while declaring these. You could write like this. These are a few examples. Okay, guys. These are a few examples. Okay, hope you uh, hope you have understood this. Kindly go through this once. So that is all for today. I will again miss some other day in a, in a new video. We'll again discuss on strings, how we add strings into small basic programs. That may be our next video's topic. So this is the part one of basics of small basics. Hope you like this video. Do put a thumbs up to this and subscribe to Coding Station if you already haven't. This is Coding Station signing off.